everybody welcome back to the channel man if you've been following along you know this for these last couple weeks uh, almost a month now two months since the season been over i appreciate you you've been kind of standing at a blank screen and i know that's tough sometimes but we're finally back with some film the same time marcus may late last night and you know i had to go dive into the film he only played like six games uh this past season towards achilles but the good news about that is he tore it kind of in the early part of the season, so he'll be able to come back and be perfectly fine. We just saw Quan Alexander come off that Achilles injury and look great. So with new technology and things like that, I'm not too worried about that injury. And now we're going to jump right into this film. All right, first play, right, right off the bat, right. I'll show you something amazing here. We're going to take a look at Marcus Williams. Same exact concepts. Same exact concepts, man. Just a little corner route. A little corner route here. Perfect technique by Marcus Williams. We come basically same concept here, little corner route, not the best of angles, but he's there. He's there. And I'll show you a big, something you need to watch here between Allen and for Marcus made this entire thing. It's right here, his depth. He's going to have to work on his depth. I think uh, just the way the Jets taught it, but the way Dennis Allen teaches it, much, much better. You see the space in between, you know, him and this guy is only about six to seven yards here which I think makes him panic, causes a bad angle. I mean, he ends up in front of the guy, overthrown, corner, right there. Now watch watch Marcus Williams here. Look at the depth. He's going to keep this guy always 10 yards away from him. You're going to see on some other plays I throw Marcus Williams in here. He's going to keep this guy, you know, away from him. That way he can actually play the ball, see the ball, and not just run to the defender. Makes a great play. Special play right there, man. I think that's this is a a very special play. If you watch this play, we're here. He's got the running back on this play. They fake a little run over there. Fake kind of like it's a screen going that way. And look at this. The Bengals have this set up perfectly. If he stays on his running back over here, look what they got in front. He doesn't. Those linemen pick those guys up. Boom, we're on a cutback. Like if he cuts this back, it could be one-on-one -on -one with this safety. I won't say he's off to the races because he's a tight end, but that's a hell of a play by Marcus May right there. All right, I want to run this back just to show you what I mean by depth. All right, watch him. We're up here. Depth. I don't like this depth right here. Once again, it's like seven yards. Need him to be deeper. Need him to be deeper here. Now he's going to work his way back over here, which is great. Uh, scramble drill coming from Joe Burrow. But if Joe Burrow wants to push this ball out here, you know, he's probably got that because we're not deep enough. But it turns into a scramble drill. These two receivers right here are going to break in. See how these guys break in? The Jets' corners aren't good. They just let them break in. Easy, easy pitch and catch right there. But I do need Marcus made deeper on those plays. But that's just a simple coaching adjustment. You could kind of watch it right here. This is going to be a much shorter uh, comeback for the football team or the commanders, whatever you want to call them. But right here, watch at the bottom of the screen. Look how these guys break in, but check Marcus Williams out. The depth. You can't throw that deep over his head, and you got to trust your corners. Look at the corners from the Saints, man. That's tight. When you know you got a safety, you know, deep over you, you can play tight like this man to man. And that's just, that's what Marcus May can bring to this team. Once he has better corners, once he just understands that he needs to be a little more deeper, it's going to be a perfect fit. All right, now something that I didn't see from Marcus Williams, not going to lie, Marcus May did it just about every time. And that's in the run game. One-on-one -on -one right here. You have to make this tackle. You can't miss. You can't dive at the angles. You have to make this tackle makes this tackle that's what you need from your safety man i swear on film every time he made he like was in that position he basically made that tackle even on the goal line right here it's kind of the same situation 
once again, the Patriots block everybody on this team. Everybody's blocked on the Jets team. The Jets are awful. Like, you can't have everyone blocked. Marcus May, only guy unblocked here, has to make this tackle or it's a touchdown. Boom. They stop him short. Half yard line. That's better than nothing. Now I got some questions. Can he play the deep third? We'll watch this back. Obviously, deep third. This is more of a, a red zone, even though they're a 25-yard line, but he's still playing the deep third. All right, now right here, it's perfect. You know, as Marcus May, I think that's Hunter Henry. He has to clear this linebacker, so the ball's got to come in this area right here. And look at this, crazy. You see the spacing? With the spacing, now you can read where the ball's going instead of just reading, reading the receiver. Boom, you make a play on it. That's perfect. The spacing, man, if he's if the spacing's correct as a safety, as you can see, it's going to be so much easier for you. He has to get that spacing right, and when he gets that right, it's going to be hell. Once again, open field tackles. You have to make these tackles, man, because once again, Jets got everybody blocked. Last line of defense, make that tackle. All right, he misses this tackle for a touchdown. Because, you know, obviously, I'm not going to just put all the good stuff in here. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. So, if you made it this far, you will see. But I'm going to show you why. It's really not his fault. Kind of his fault. Look, I'll give him 50% of the blame. Patriots just run a uh, play action here. I believe this is a receiver or a tight end. I can't tell. But he's going to come this way. And the running back is going to come behind him this way. What the Jets should do is these two guys right here should switch. He should come outside here, and he should stay over here. But what they do is cross. And once you cross right here, that's a no-go. The Patriots got exactly what they want with all this traffic coming, you know, to uh, disrupt him. And right here, Patriots got exactly what they wanted. Y'all didn't switch that. That's just bad coaching on the Jets part. He gets touched right there, throws him off balance. But after all that, after he still shouldn't be in this position, after getting touched by a lineman right here, I still need him to make this tackle. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. Got to make that tackle. Just have to. Simple as that. This is him off the edge, which you won't get with Marcus Williams ever. Off the edge, beats the right tackle for a sack. Had to put that in there. The versatility. Once again, boom, he's... This Patriots game, he played a lot of positions, man, against the Patriots. Now he's basically in that slot, kind of with Malcolm Jenkins played, one-on-one -on -one with Hunter Henry. Perfect coverage. Panthers, he's right here. This is a third down play. Perfection. Absolutely perfection, man. Patient. And once again, I'll, I'll say it again, the spacing, the spacing, the spacing, the spacing. If he's too... If he's too close here, they're going to rub. He's going to take the wrong angle, but he can read the quarterback, make the tackle. Perfect, man. All right. I don't know how the Jets are supposed to cover this, so I'm not going to say that touchdown's on him. Uh, Robbie Anderson scores a touchdown from the slot. He splits the two safeties. I mean, obviously, this safety is supposed to run with him. But maybe this safety thinking he has some, you know, inside help in here. Marcus May doesn't give it to him. That's a touchdown. Now, this is where I'm going to give Marcus May a little blame on here. What do you think I'm going to say? Spacing, spacing, spacing. Think they're in a cover four look. Look how deep this safety is compared to Marcus May. He's about, I mean, four, four yards deeper than him. They're in a little soft cover four look here. You have to trust that this corner's. This corner is going to make that play. I need Marcus Williams at the exact same depth as this other safety back here. He needs to be at least four yards, three yards back. He's not. Now look how close he is here. If he's right now at the 35-yard line, I think he can make this play. So right now, when Sam Darnold throws this ball, I think he should be, you know, somewhere at the 32, 31-yard line. He's about at the 35 and let's just watch this play. When he catches that ball, right here, look at that. Three yards away. Two to three yards away. Now, if you're just in your right, you know, spacing at the beginning of this play, three yards deeper, we will never have this problem. 
Look at the space between, you know, when he caught that ball and where he is now. And look how they started this play. If he's three yards deeper right here, he's in perfect position, man. He's not. They end up getting a touchdown out of that. And I done jumped all over the place. They end up getting a touchdown. Robbie Anderson right there. Fixable. But like I said, they could they could teach it like that. They could have had that safety one on one on the island on that backside, which would be very dumb, but it's the Jets. So who knows? Who knows how they were playing that? And I'm just gonna show you Marcus Wilson. I mean not Marcus Wilson. Look, I didn't forgot his name already. He's only been gone for one day. I didn't forgot the man name. Gonna show you Marcus Williams, kinda on, you know, uh some seam routes, four verticals type uh concept. Look at the depth here. You're not getting past him on these post routes or anything like that. The Saints will put Marcus May in positions like this and not like the positions the Jets put him in. You can't throw you can't throw a deep ball if you want to, man. And you got Lattimore, you know, one on one on the outside. But yeah, I definitely want to put that play in there just to show you the difference of how Dennis Allen would use him and how the Jets used him. Like you think we're getting you think you're getting past him? This man has almost fifteen yards of depth on y'all, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're not getting that ball here. Obviously the Saints got a sack, but even if they didn't get a sack, you can't throw that ball in any any area, you know, near this safety. Plays this screen perfectly. Stops from getting the first down. Stops from getting the touchdown. Can't ask for much more right there. Just, I mean, he just reads this perfect. You don't jump inside right here. He jumps inside with all this traffic coming. That could be a touchdown. Plays it perfect. Gets the stop. Right here, this is a scary sight. This is a scary sight. This is Christian McCaffrey, and it's you. Got to make that tackle. Makes a tackle, and you need that from him. You definitely need that. Things I learned from Marcus May, uh, he can play the deep third safety. I know that's going to be everybody's biggest question. Can he replace Marcus Williams in that deep third safety role? I don't know if he can replace him, but he can play, and he can play well. Just a couple things he needs to fix uh, to do it. And I'm sure those are, those are easy fixes. It's not like any athletic thing. It's just spacing. Easy fix. Uh, second, he's much more versatile than Marcus Wilson. Marcus Williams. Jesus, I call him Marcus Wilson again. Marcus Williams. He can play on the line. He can play in coverage. And that's just going to make uh, the Saints defense much, much more uh, diverse. Because obviously when, the, when Marcus Williams was out there, you know he's going to be deep third safety. So if the Saints are running two high safeties, and they're going to roll. One's going to roll up. One's going to roll uh, back. You know who's rolling back. It's going to be Marcus Williams. But if Marcus May there, and say, let's say it's P.J. Williams, they both can, you know, reverse those rolls. Marcus May can come up towards the line of scrimmage. P.J. Williams could go back. Or P.J. Williams could come up and Marcus May can go back. That's just going to make the quarterback job much harder, the offense job much harder. So I like the versatility he brings. I like the coverage he brings. Sure tackler, man. I really, really love this pickup. Honestly, this is probably the best player we could have gotten, not named Marcus Williams, in free agency uh, at this position. So super, super nice pickup from Mickey Loomis and the staff over there. And Dennis Allen obviously knows who's going to fit his system. So that's just a huge, huge get for the Saints, man. Let me know what y'all think about Marcus, man, in the comments below. Hopefully we get some more players so I can keep doing this. This is why I kind of started this channel to kind of watch film, go over this, talk about this. But this is the Boot Tragedies once again, and I'm out.